In this video we're going to be taking a look at what the Tagmata cavalry can do both against elephants and against the elite Gyan Alpspar. Tagmata cavalry only costs 800 which cannot be said for the Indian elephants, the Indian armored elephants and the Gyan Alpspar. Here we have two Indian armored and two Indian elephants. On the charge the elephants don't do too much to the, to, to the Tagmata cavalry. The Tagmata cavalry wrecks the Indian elephants very quickly. Uh, it takes a bit longer against the armored elephants. They have much higher health, twice the health actually. Uh, they also have 50 armor versus 3. So the fight takes longer, but the Gian Afspar, uh, the Tagmata cavalry still do very well against them. They destroy them without taking very many losses, and this is for a cavalry unit that is a lot cheaper than the armored Indian elephants. And this is due both to a good charge bonus, decent armor, but mostly due to their bonus against large. So elephants starting to die very quickly. Now we were tempted, me and Obelix tested this, we were tempted to just let the Tagmata cavalry take the Gian Afspar head on after killing the elephants. That would have been epic, but instead to get a slightly more relevant results, we're going to send the Tagmata cavalry up against Gian Afspar when they are at full strength. So here we go. Uh, wedge against wedge, normal against normal, wedge against normal, and normal against wedge. So the Tagmata cavalry, they lose decisively while the Gian Afspar have their charge bonus. But when the Gian Afspar lose their charge bonus, it's no contest. Their 10 melee damage and 35 uh, weapon attack just cannot stand up to the beastly Tagmata cavalry. With their bonus, they just absolutely destroy cataphracts in extended melee. They destroy elephants, they destroy um, shock cavalry, they destroy melee cavalry. The only thing that they cannot destroy will be braced spearmen. Braced elite spearmen will defeat Tagmata cavalry. There is another fun tactic you can use against the Tagmata. Just for fun here, we're charging in a very depleted Tagmata cavalry into the spa bed. A very, very um, expensive general's option for the Sassanids. And the spa bed is only winning slightly against this exhausted, depleted Tagmata cavalry. The Tagmata cavalry is doing a lot of damage to the spa bed, and it's actually going to take it down to about half strength before giving up the fight. So, Tagmata cavalry is absolutely ridiculous. But in another video, let's take a look at how you can prevent the um, Tagmata cavalry from taking care of uh, business. And it involves using dogs. Now this is the wrong video, I'll just upload the... or actually I'll just load the battle right away. So many tests that I start to lose Today track of them. Mm, I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. So here I'm going to use a combination of spearmen, uh, spearmen and warhounds, costing the exact same as the Tagmata cavalry. And the rules of engagement were as follows. Both me and Obelix were going to try our best to win this engagement between four dogs, four spears and uh, the Tagmata cavalry. Now these are uh, heavy warhounds, they can do damage to Tagmata cavalry. The magic lies in blocking the charges of the Tagmata cavalry, the dogs are taking massive casualties, but it does allow the uh, spearmen to get in, but charging Tagmata cavalry absolutely destroys dogs. The thing is that the Tagmata cavalry also takes a significant amount of casualties. And when they, when they rout, they're going to be attacked by the war dogs, and, and they're going lives. to lose a lot of men. So, using these spearmen, I'm not playing perfectly here by any means. The Germanic spearmen are getting wrecked when they're getting charged. The dogs the over here are going to uh, start coming back. I'm going to use the Sarmatian spears as meat shield units. Because these units also have... Uh, they also have a small unit of spearmen. 
The dogs come back, and when the dogs come back, they are going to destroy the Togmata cavalry. Now, of course, in a battlefield situation, this is going to be different, because there are more units. There are units available to block the the uh, war dogs. There would be units potentially able to tie down the Germanic spears. But dogs can be useful in blocking cavalry and blocking cavalry charges. But the, the Nordic dogs are useless for this. The Sarmatian warhounds are, or the Sarmatian spears with warhounds are better. The field of this is a uh, so this is just... Display just for fun, going up against the general. But, yeah, Tegmata Cavalry is good against everything but braced elite spears and pikes. Um, but dogs might have a niche against them. If the dogs get charged directly, the Tegmata are going to trample all over the dogs, but it might allow spearmen to get into the Tegmata without taking uh, the charge of the Tegmata. So, a potential counter, but one that has very questionable battlefield use. Tegmata Cavalry is ridiculously overpowered, and makes the Eastern Roman Empire a power faction. Strength and honor.